Well, welcome to System Test 26 on the Voice Evacuation Fire Alarm Demonstration Board. To kick off the test today, we have a maintenance trouble with this Botch F220-P smoke detector. So we're going to try and tackle this trouble first thing today before we get into the test. To do that, we'll take off the head of the smoke detector, we'll clean it out, and then we'll put the head back on what should reset the unit. So the head's off, and in order to clean this, what we're going to do is we're going to blow at it with an air compressor. And that should help dust off the inside of the head. Sometimes if these get too dusty, they can cause a trouble. Here we go. And then while the head is off, we'll take a look at the inside here and make sure that there's no broken wires. We'll also blow at it with the air compressor a little bit. Just to kind of dust out the inside. And then the wires do look good, so we'll replace the head back onto the unit. And then we'll check the fire alarm control panel to see if there's anything new. After putting the smoke detector head back on, it looks like the panel is reinitializing. Let's see what happens. And it looks like we're back in normal conditions. To start off the test, we will test out that smoke detector just to make sure that it is working after the maintenance. Just so you know, the audio file that will be coming out of the speaker today is very unique and you're probably not going to be expecting it, but let's get into the test. I just have some canned smoke, some smoke centurion, and we'll go ahead and use that to test out the detector. Starting to run really low on this stuff. There it goes. Perfect. Essentially what I did is I AI generated a voice evacuation music file and that's what it kicked out for me. So I figured, well, we'll go ahead and use that in today's test. Anyways, for alarms, this right here is a Simplex 4902-9717 speaker. And I do have the white plate on it today. In the middle here we have an EST G1R-CVM chime and on it is a G1WA-VMA cover. However, I've replaced out the amber strobe with a clear strobe. Kind of a unique device that I've made out of parts that I already have. And then for a strobe, we have a Wheelock white exceeder. I really like the way these things look. I just think they look very slick. Anyways, for a pull station going down, we have the life safety MS-501U, and we'll go ahead and pull it today to activate the alarm again. Here we go. In three, two, one. You never know what you can expect with this system now that I can upload my own audio files into the Cooper Wheelock SP MNS voice amplifier panel. Anyways, all the devices you can, t you, you can tell today are very different from each other. You would probably never see a system like this in a real building. We have Simplex, EST, Wheelock, we have Botch, and then we have Life Safety. If you can find a building with all of those companies on an addressable fire alarm demonstration, or an, I guess it's not demonstration, but an addressable fire alarm system, it doesn't even have to be firelight, just any sort of addressable panel, then you get extra bonus points for today's video. 
All right, so let's go ahead and reset that pull station and I'll show you what else we have today. Just uses a simplex B key and there we go. We're all reset. So for the special alarm part of the system, I figured there's always something unique going on with this side of the system between all the different audio files and sounds that you hear from this side. So I had to do some sort of audio file based off of that. Let me know what you think of it. I had AI help me once again, and then we'll activate it today with the simplex key switch. Here we go in three, two, one. And there it is, pretty unique. Of course, the sounds that you've heard in both files, those I did add in because I don't think I would be smart enough to add in that, but uh, at least not as of right now. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for System Test 26. I know this one was unique, you probably weren't expecting it, but uh, let me know what you think of these files. I have seen some of the requests to put out some of these audio files that I've been using in the tests. And, and these tests, so I am thinking about doing that here, so, uh-oh. Oh, did that smoke detector activate again? Jeez, that's sensitive. I've gone ahead and cleared out the head again and reset the panel, so it should be good now. But anyways, I have seen some requests to upload some of these audio files, so maybe I'll do that in the coming videos here. Uh, if you do want that, let me know in the comments, and if enough people do, then I will do it. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this system test. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos if you found any of this interesting, and please have a great day. Please.